Hey YouTube, uh, this is Red Shirt. Um, I thought, since I had time, I got home from a deployment I thought last week. I figured I'd give y'all a, uh, a get back for 2013. Um, I haven't done this, so please bear with me. So, first off, I'm from Florida. Um, I'm in the Air Force and I recently moved up to Alaska last year. Um, so please forgive the daylight. It is 10 p.m. here. Actually, it's a quarter to 11 right now. And as you can see, it's still pretty bright as hell outside. So first up, um, I'll show you my guns. So for this year, I picked up a uh, Damage NT-11. Um, I figured I'd try out die again. Um, my first team originally shot die. And uh, I didn't like that too much because uh, how much upkeep there was. Um, I got this last weekend. I uh, I was playing with it and I had no problems with it. Thing is absolutely flawless. Um, needs a few little things like a uh, new eye pipe, but eh, oh well. So I'm rocking the uh, six nine two carbon fiber boomstick. Uh, pick that up as well. I got a 6845 Ninja Tank um, V3 uh, die rotor with the uh, die speed feed. I also have an HK speed feed with rain lid. So if the weather gets shitty, I'll change that out. Um, so that's my main shooter for this season. Uh, now for my backup. This is what's my main shooter last year. Uh, I have a Geo 2.1, um, all midnight. Went ahead and went and got the midnight or the Black Ops screw kit. So as you see, all black. It's all black on black. Um, I'm rocking the uh, 4845 Gorilla Air, um, and I'm rocking the uh, Empire Z2. HK speed feed, whole nine yards. Um, I went ahead and put the money into this gun uh, because I had, like I said, it was my main shooter last year. So I put all this money into it while it was gone. Um, while it was gone, I went ahead and picked up the uh, Exalt launch bolt, as you can see the green tip there. Um, popped that in, I had to fix it, put the factory settings back. so. Any of you guys out there that are uh, shooting that exalt launch bolt in your geos, um, no, you will have to reset to factory or at least swap your dwell back to the factory setting, which is roughly 12 and a half. Um, so yeah, um, and make sure you loot the hell out of it. Uh, as I said, I went ahead and put money into my geo, so I have the entire full shaft kit. 16 inch kit or 16 inch tip, all three bags, and all the stock goodies for it. Um, so, next we'll get into my masks. Um, so, about two years ago, uh, I didn't have a good mask or a decent mask. Uh, before I joined the military, my father decided to give me a birthday gift. So, he went and Asked me, hey, what what kind of paintball stuff do you want? This is the first time he's ever asked me. So, um, the one thing I needed the most was a new mask. So I got the Die High Force. So they're old, hence the reason why they're just a solid red. Um, on here I have the uh, titanium gold. So, as you can see, the mirror gold there. So, there's those. About a couple months ago, I picked up a pair of white, um, white with black plastic uh, grills, and uh, I saw a lot of people were painting theirs, uh, painting their grills different colors. So uh, I decided that I wanted white, all white. So I went ahead and got these, these pretty cheap. They were like twenty five dollars. Eyes or ears were cut off. Um, uh, while I was gone, I went ahead and picked up the uh, 
gold mirror or the burnt amber or I should say the burnt orange mirror lens for them um, now that they have the thermal lenses out finally um, now I went and picked up another set of grills um, I was like well I want to go all black so I went and got brand new ninja black um, grills with the ninja black lens went ahead and Houston heated it up why because I got a Houston heat jersey which I will show you in here in a bit um, so next we'll get, get into the gear bag itself um, it's always good to have a couple microfibers for your lenses so you don't scratch the hell out of them um, let's see now with all of this artificial turf and all that starting to come up everywhere um, it's always good to have knee pads. I have Planet Eclipse 2011 overload knee and uh, elbow arm pads. Uh, so there's those. Um, into the packs, I have the uh, Die Assault Pack or Attack Pack Pro, uh, the one that actually stretches out and you can put a shit ton of pods in it. So I have that. Um, actually, I love this thing now. I used to be a front player, so I always wanted a, a small pack. So, as I said, I was a front player, so I have the HK Lava Hardline um, pack. Uh, three plus three plus two plus two, or I should say three plus four, as most people would call it. So, yep, there's that. Uh, I'm a big HK fan, so. I have HK long sleeve shirt, uh, old school long sleeve shirt, um, and I have the HK hardline pants. I love these things. These things are super padded. They're freaking awesome. They're very well ventilated too. Um, I also have the old school JT team pants. Uh, I have these in desert camo. They're a little torn, so they're not my tournament pants. That's the reason why I got those HK pants. Um, so I'm a dealer, or a HK elite, or I should say HK, an EKK, uh, East Coast Kids Elite Soldier. So I went ahead and to <laughs> reserve myself as a soldier, I went ahead and bought a long sleeve shirt from EKK. Uh, you can visit our website, ekkgear.com. Um, it's always good for my geo in case my launch bolt doesn't want to work on me it's always good to bring my stock bolt for that um, overing kit this is a 08 ego kit I used to have one it's now my little brother's so I still keep these because you don't know somebody might need an o-ring and I just happen to have the one that I need next I have my Raza jersey is the uh, TM2 Deutschland uh, jersey. Um, I went ahead and put the half gloves on it. Um, it's not padded. This is all just straight, straight fabric. Um, got my name and number put on it. So there's that. Um, like I said, I'm a huge huge HK fan so I got HK Army headband um, this is when I got my i4s I got a Falcon back when they had the traumatic uh, redemption set I got the traumatic redemption uh, Santana I guess you could call it um, as I said I'm also EKK soldier so I got the headbands before they actually because they change these every like every so often they'll get change up the design so there's those um, I'm from Florida like I said and mom's from Tampa Bay Damage she's a big supporter of the military while I was deployed uh, PSP Dallas and PSP MAO was going on well Dallas they had the rare um, I should say not rare but they had a hundred giveaway uh, first hundred people to the die booth uh, over the St. Patty's of the day weekend. We get the St. Patty's Day uh, damage T-shirt. So, mom sent me 
that. So I got that. Um, she also sent me a couple other things like uh, some headbands. I got some damaged headbands. Um, of course, can't go wrong without pods. I get about uh, seven pods. Uh, kind of running a little short. People still in pods. Freaking pod thieves. Um, it's always good to have enough swabs. So I have two exalt swabs. I have two Valken swabs and a swab I actually found at my local field, 907. So, um, then it's always good to have a pair of cleats. I actually have like three pairs of cleats because um, it gets really muddy when we're after breakup up here in Alaska. So, when it's not wet and it's pretty dry, I got my HK shredders, which work phenomenally. So, um,. That's about it. Now let's get into my pricey stuff. So, um, I've got a bunch of jerseys. I've spent, I just know some people, spent, uh, spent the time and money and resources that I had. And I went and got some jerseys. So, I've got Houston Heat, um, October, breast cancer awareness month. I got their World Cup jersey, uh, Jason L.J. Woodley. I got his jersey, so found a kid who was trying to get rid of it. And this was not game worn, I wish, but it wasn't. Um, so, but the only reason why I wanted it, state flag. I'm from Florida. I love Florida. I want to keep it Florida. So I got Chad Boucher's World Cup jersey. I think this was game worn. I'm pretty sure it was, but this is his World Cup jersey that plays second in two Houston Heat. So, as you can see, it's not signed, nothing. So, yeah, mint condition. Um, they don't actually wear these anymore because, as you, most of y'all follow, um, they're no longer shooting GI paint, they're shooting dye paint. And they're now sponsored with Raza, so their air tanks are coming from Raza. Um, I don't know what all details came from Raza, but there's that. So, as most of y'all know, J Rap played for um, Damage for 2012. Um, so, he came up summer of last year to do a clinic with Chad. And uh, I was fortunate enough to have one of his jerseys. So, I got C12, the uh, purple Chevron, J Rap jersey. It's worn because the damn my mom, bless her heart, uh, was in the wrong place. And uh, as I was doing laundry one day uh, while I was visiting in Florida, I uh, I left my laundry in there, and I guess they needed to wash it more than I did. So they just threw all my stuff in the dryer and they ruined it. So um, yep, that's basically it. Uh, the only thing I didn't show is I have a um, 2000, I think 2012, yeah, because I got a Christmas, no, I got a Christmas 2011, uh, so it's a 2011 uh, Planet Eclipse bag, and I'll show you real fast, 2011 Planet Eclipse bag, I think it's actually great, I didn't have no problems with it, so, but, yep, that's my, uh, gear bag for 2013 I'm glad that y'all stuck with me for the 14 minutes so yeah thanks Richard signing off